Stay a while and listen. Hello, welcome to the Freak Show. Bumpy McSquiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I started my early access coverage of AI War 2. It is by Arkin Games, one of my favorite developers out there today. And yeah, it releases into Steam Early Access on October 15th, 2018. I played a lot of their stuff over the years. Bionic Dudes is one of the first games I actually think I finished the full Let's Play of on the channel. I played the first AI War, never been very good at it, and I'm hoping I get a little bit better now. I even went back through and I played through the tutorial of the first game, so I kind of am a bit familiar with what's going on, but we're going to play through the tutorial of this as well and just try to learn and glean information before we hop in and we start a, a real campaign, if you will. Anyhow, uh, they're really good. Arkin's a really good company about going back through and supporting and adding to and patching and doing DLC and just keeping their older titles, their titles alive. Coming back to it, keep showing it love, not just like, all right, here it is, good luck, and then they go off and do something else. They go, here it is, good luck, we're going off and doing something else, but we're still going to stay here, love this game, support it, and add stuff to it. So there's like six or seven DLCs for the original AI War, plus a lot of revamping and just free patches and things of that nature. Good company, guys. So I am always 100% willing to support these guys, and I hope you guys like what you see, and you go out and you grab the game on October 15th when it does go into early access and give them some support and love there. That being said, uh, let's, let's begin. I'll explain kind of what's going on from what I know of AI War and how all that works out. So I'm just going to go with a normal profile name. I'm just going to choose the first guy. I've set us on course. Coming right up. You can hear his voice. Um... Here's this is kind of cool. So you can you can kind of customize what your fleet is going to look like. So you choose your fleet color like let's say this hot pink and then maybe you want I don't know a, a blue outline. So that doesn't look very good in my opinion, but say that's what you want or like a turquoise outline. So there you go. That's going to be what your ships look like when you're selecting them and everything else. So it's easier to differentiate what your ships look like versus what other ships look like and you have a lot of stuff to play around with. There's some preset options they have here that just kind of go together without being too starkly contrasted. I'm probably going to go with something like, like, I don't know, like a dark green. I was going to go with a red, but it looks kind of, I'm not sure that I like the red. So maybe I'll do that and I will go with you know, like a light blue. Yeah, I think that's, that's probably okay. Let's try that one. Anyhow, let's just quickly read through who this guy is so we know. All right, during the first AI war, Edwards was Admiral of the Fleet. He led humanity on a crash course in desperate survival against terrifying odds. He had nothing to do with the rise of the machine menace, but he's haunted by the fact that the bulk of humanity was snuffed out in an instant during his watch. Hundreds of civilian and military planets and installations all gone within a matter of decades. His two most successful programs were the Ark, a massive derelict alien spaceship retrofitted to carry almost the entire remaining civilian population of humanity, and his rigorous officer training program. Under his guidance, humans have crafted a mobile base of operations and assembled a crack team of experts to run the new counter-offensive against the AI. Now he's turned it over to you. As your former mentor, and in his current capacity as a counselor, he will gladly serve in the role of your chief advisor on the Ark if you so desire. However, he is also equally happy for you to choose someone else for that duty, and thus to allow him to apply his expertise elsewhere in the fleet. Sounds like a good guy, stand up, loads of experience, I like that. Anyhow, we're going to hop in, we're going to play the tutorial, and here we are. I've already played around with some of the settings and things, guys and gals, so it's very possible that like one of the screens might have gone away, but... Yeah, here we are. So essentially, we're going to learn how to survive, how to build things, and how the game works at this point. I played around with some of the scrolling settings because they were really, 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 really slow. They're still kind of slow. So apparently my pan settings are fine, but my uh, key settings are not. So I'm a bit bummed out by that, but we'll play with settings later. It's not that critical right now. And like I said, we're going to learn how to play. So now under the infrastructure, you'll find the space dock toward the end of the list. Mouse over the icons to find it. Click on it, and then click on the planet map to start building it. Note, right now, it takes a really long time, so probably build some engineers as well. Okay, we need to build the space dock. So I'm going to build that bad boy right here. Oh, here's another cool thing. If you guys did play the first one, 
you know there was a fair amount of zooming in and out but check it out like you can really 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 zoom in to see the action if you're so inclined i think i'm gonna have to adjust some of the zoom speeds and all the stuff but like i said i'd rather it be too slow than be too quickly going right now so we're gonna build some engineers you no longer have to hold shift to build the engineers they just they exist they're fine so right click to cancel that i'm going to unpause the game so things get moving again and yeah yeah i'm feeling pretty good about this so we're about 10 11 seconds in so essentially uh, the way i understand a rough recap of what happened in the original ai war uh, to build some ships open the docks tab either by clicking on b or clicking on it or pressing the b once all right there we go now we need to build some small fleet ships. I'll explain what the storyline is here in a moment. To prepare for combat, in the docks menu, we will see ships you can build. The number of... Uh, under the icon is the number of ships of that type you can make in the space dock that you have. Build queues are automatically looping, i.e. it will build the selected units until you tell it to stop. You can pause construction via the pause menu just above the building... Or the build queue, but don't pause them right now. We need to build a fleet. Queue all the available ships by clicking on the icon for each of these ships. There are five right now. Uh, the scout is used for exploration only. We will use it later. However, build everything, basically. Alright, so we're going to do that. We are going to build everything, so to speak. Alright, so they're all kind of spitting out. I'm going to actually set a rally point a little bit further away. And we're going to drag all of our ships over here. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, essentially... Humanity, I think, probably started going into space and expanding everything else, and then they built like an AI to, you know, robots and all this stuff. You know, the basic AI turns bad, becomes self-aware, and all that stuff. That essentially happened. They started to wipe out humanity. They went from you know, all over the galaxy and wiped out pretty much all life. And now the AI runs everything. There's a small pocket of humanity that escaped, and that's essentially what you were in AI War Fleet Command, the first game. And what you had to do was build up and take over enemy ships. And there's a whole bunch of stuff that you had to do. But you couldn't go and really rile up too much. Like you had to, you had to strike surgically. You had to go to like this planet and be like, alright, this isn't important. We'll pass by this planet. We won't use it. We'll just ignore it. And then you go to another one and you're like, oh, this has something that we need. You go and you take that out. And then you run the risk, if you do take that out, of the AI actually noticing that you exist and getting like, oh, there's a higher threat in this area where they'll start sending ships to fight you. So you always had to balance like what you did and how you did it with how bad that was going to make the AI react to you. How, you know, this giant, basically you had like 10 ships to start with and the enemy literally had the entire universe with like millions upon millions of ships that they could send to crush you. And the more noise you made, the quicker they would send that horrible, horrible, awful, awful bad thing to you. So, your fleet is now building. This may take a while, though. You can see how many ships are left by looking at the docks menu. Not that many. You can speed up the game by pressing Control Plus or Minus. Now we'll wait till the maximum number of each is built. That's fine. So, essentially, you got to go to each of the AI homeworlds and take those out, and then I think you could go after, like, the actual AI at the end of it all. And that's how you won the game. I never got anywhere near that point. I managed to take over several systems, and I kind of felt like I started doing good, and then I just I got too big too fast, and I got crushed, and it wasn't good. So super hard game, a lot of fun, unique idea, very interesting concepts. I really like it. I'm a big fan. Sometimes it can be hard to know what your next goal should be. To get a sense of your in-game goals, let's open the objectives menu in the sidebar and mouse over the items there. The menu... Provides a useful guide for what you should be trying to accomplish in the game. So objectives over here. All right, scout two more planets. Acquire science on uh, Perlis. Uh, capture a few planets. Spend science to strengthen your forces. Defend Perlis from waves. And build remains rebuilders. Okay. Once you've examined the objectives, let's marshal your fleet and blow things up. Select all your military units by bandboxing, selecting them like this. Or if you didn't want to do that, you can just press M for all military units. I like that. That's really, really cool. Next, add your selected group to or units to a control group. And it's control 1 through, I believe, 9 or maybe 0. So you can define multiple control groups in the game. But for now, we're just going to use 1. So control 1. And now we have that. 
We'd like to not have to keep assigning newly produced units to the control group manually. So let's set them to the rally to that group. Now this is a really cool feature. I like that. I don't think that was a thing before. I mean, maybe it was. Maybe it wasn't. I don't know. But let's see. Click the group button on this, or for the space dock to tell the space dock to automatically assign all ships it produces to that control group. The icon will turn green when it is rallying, or when the rallying is activated. Uh, this will automatically send all newly built ships to the location of your control group. There we go. Uh, rally units to control group to control group one. All right, cool. Finally, send your fleet to the next planet. There's a wormhole on the right side of the gravity well. Hold control and right-click the wormhole. Swirling green thing. You might need to zoom way out to see it. And tell your ships to fly through that wormhole to the other planet. Well, it's not green at all, even a little bit. But this is what they were talking about. Oh. Hmm. Sorry. Alright, so we're going to hit control and we're going to do that. But you don't want to wait. Uh, you don't want your units to get there before you're able to see. So hit P to pause. Now press tab and we go from the planet view, which is what we're on right now. And we're going to go to the galaxy view. So this is the galaxy. It's a small one because it's a tutorial, of course. Uh, where much of your strategizing takes place in real game. Control left click on the planet between the other two, which is where you want to go because that's where your ships are heading. Alright, now... Unpause the game again. And we're already being attacked as we're coming through the gate. Alright, so I'm going to hit X and just right click down here. Consider it done. You can move your selected units by right clicking on a location or target. This planet is defended by guard posts which will spawn AI fleet ships when you get too close. Let's move our forces toward the guard posts and destroy them first. That's fine. You want to keep your fleet together to maximize firepower. Oh, that looks so cool. That looks so much nicer than the first game did. Uh, it may take multiple assaults, so you may need to build a new fleet if you lose the first few. You may observe reinforcements rallying to your fleet. Units that are rallying have a blue outline. To capture this planet, but to capture this planet, but the main condition of taking the planet is destroying all the AI defense is presence. That's a little weird. Sorry, uh, present, not presence. Uh, this tutorial will proceed when all those defenses both. The defensive structures and the ships are dead. Okay, are we are we all attacking? Like, what what are we doing here? On our way. Okay, this is fine. I think we just kill our this. Fires will light this darkness. Okay, so that's done, and now we're going to come down here, and we need to kill this shield guard post. Uh, we're, we're kind of running into it. We'll have a clean hit. It doesn't feel like everybody's shooting it, but I'm sure that they are. Here's another thing you might want to do if you guys are moving stuff around. Um, I know I have a bunch of these guys. How do I... There we go. Um, I'm going to send my engineers over as well. I'm probably going to build some new engineers on this side. That's not what I want. There it is. The reason I'm doing this is because I would very much like my engineers to be healing my people. For all the guys that got hurt. And we're just going to keep them with the fleet. In fact, I might even make these guys control group 2. Alright, so it looks like we're almost through murdering this thing. With all the little laser beams coming out and stuff. It's quite nice. Let's take a little closer look at the ships, shall we? A little hard to see, but not too, too bad. If you hold Q, you can rotate the camera, which is pretty nice. So you can see a little bit better, like, the ships in fleet form, and you can kind of rotate and zoom around the various different ships. It's it's pretty cool. Alright, it looks like that thing is about dead. Alright, that is dead. Now we're going to take our ball and go home? No. We're going to go up here and we're going to murder some more stuff. Because that's what we do. That's what we do. Uh, we're not going to do that with you guys yet, though. 
We're going to let them go first, and then we're going to come over. We're going to hang out and be like, what's going on? It's going to be fun. All right, here come some ships to meet us. It's not going to go well for them. All right, we're going to move over here with our uh, repair guys. And they should just immediately start repairing some stuff. I think we're going to take out the gun first. Make sure that thing doesn't survive. And as you can tell... We've got lots of lights and flashing things and death kind of ensuing. Alright, so we're zooming out. I'm going to take this thing down, too. Absolutely. Great work. Now give an attack order against the enemy command post. That's what it was saying. I'm sorry, guys and gals. I saw that that's what it wanted me to do. Absolutely. I didn't think it would be that quick for us to kill it. Alright, to capture the planet, go back to your home planet. Use tab to go to the galaxy menu and then select your original planet. Then find the colony ship in the build menu. Click on the colony ship. Then click on the gravity well to choose where it builds. Once built, bring it to the middle planet, then open the build menu on the middle planet to build a new command station. There are three types. Just pick whichever one. Alright, so we're going to go here. We're going to go to ships, was it? No, it was docks. Build? It was build. Sorry, we're going to build a colony ship. We're going to build it over here. That was real quick. We're going to send it through. We're going to go take a peek ourselves. Yes. I'm going to send it over sense. here and we're going to claim this bad boy. We will take care of that. And it's going to be sweet sweetness. Yes. I'm not sure how sense. it got added to the uh, group, but that's fine. All right, we're going to build a economic command station or center or whatever. They're going to hop over and repair it real quick. Because that's what they do. And now we've claimed the metal reformer thingy majiglers. It's fine. Okay, to finish this tutorial, we will defeat the AI on the third planet. Before attacking, let's first send some scouts to the final planet and see what their defenses look like. Okay. Well, let's go back to the first planet to find some scouts. We'll go with tab, and then we'll control click there. We have all the scouts we could ever want or need here. I'll hold shift and double click. There we go. Scouts are cloaked fast but weaponless ships that are used to learn information about planets before you attack or to monitor enemies and activities scouts are fleet ships and built from the space dock you should already have some on this planet already you should select them and then use the galaxy map you can give your units orders from the galaxy the galaxy map once or since you have selected some scouts control right click on the final planet send the scouts there having an advanced knowledge Excellent of enemy defenses idea. will help you choose which planets to attack Alright, it looks like the enemy planet is a Mark II planet, which is significantly stronger than the Mark I planet that we just took. You will need to strengthen your fleet to defeat it. First, we will build starships. Let's go back to the start planet and build a starship dock. It is available in the build menu near the space dock. I believe it's the last one. Build menu. Yep, starship. Alright, we're building that one up. Starships are significantly stronger than fleet ships, which makes them valuable tools. First, open the dock menu and then click group buttons to make sure anything that we build goes to the group. Once that's finished being built, I guess that is. Uh, okay, it'll rally to our fleet. Then click on the assault starship to begin to build it. And there it is. Assault and group. Uh, currently rallying to group two. I want them to go to group one. There we go. Set rally order for ships to control group one. Set rally order for ships to no longer... Okay, we did that. You will also need to upgrade some fleet ships. Upgrading units makes them significantly more powerful and allows you to build more of them. Let's open the tech menu now. A tech menu on the side. When you hover over a unit, it will tell you how much stronger it gets when you upgrade it. Upgrade a few fleet ships to the topmost category, then we'll attack. Note, you probably don't want to upgrade the scout here. Alright, so essentially, it costs us more metal. Our squad cap goes from 60 up to 108. We get 20 ships per squad, which seems to be fine. Everything else seems to be pretty much the same. I don't know what that S thing is per full cap of squads I don't know what that means 
Our hull goes up by double. The speed stays the same. The engine stays the same. Albedo is the same. Mass is the same. Our shields go up by double as well. So yeah, it seems to be quite a bit stronger. And our weapons go up a bit more too. Over double for damage. Yeah, I like that. All right, we're going to do that. We'll skip the scout. Uh, fusion bomber, a bit more metal. Squad cap goes up over double. Again, it looks like pretty much carbon copy. Over double for just about everything, and then a little bit more. That's fine. So we're going to do it for all of our stuff. I'm even going to throw it for our assault starship, too. I feel like that's definitely the play that we want to make. All right, we've unlocked all these various different things. Destroy the last plant to win the tutorial. You need to upgrade multiple times or uh, upgrade more ships to do it. You may need. Okay. Now, I know one thing that we're going to run into. Our energy is dropping pretty quick. So, unless I'm completely wrong, we're going to have to go back to this place. And we're going to need to build ourselves... Yeah, it's telling us this right now, actually. You need more energy to build more ships. Your primary way of getting energy is to build an energy collector. Makes sense. What's happening right now? Oh, did I already send them through? Oh, that, that's a mistake. That wasn't supposed to happen. Commencing attack. Did, I, did I never finish this? That's funny. I, I think I sent my ships through accidentally, way, way, way ahead of schedule. Anyway, uh, energy converter. That, that's what I'm. That's what we're doing here. So I need to go to the build menu here, and we need to get this, the energy collector. Essentially, it's going to increase our energy. Energy is essentially used by every single ship that we build. The more ships we have, the more energy it costs, along with certain buildings and things of that nature. So you can build one energy collector for relatively cheap for each planet that you own, and then you can build, what are they, matter converters that are a bit more expensive. And not only are they expensive, um, they also convert your metal which you produce at a specific level, they convert that into energy. So, yeah. Yeah, it's a thing. It's a thing that happens. All right. Well, we're nearly done with this thing, I, I guess. We'll go take a look over here. AI Sentinel. Math is tricky, but we'll get them. I don't, I don't know what those things are, why they're there, or how we deal with them. They're just sentinels, I guess. I, I'm assuming that they notice that we're here. Alright, well as our ships continue to pour on in, it doesn't look like we're really I mean, I guess we're slowly getting this done. It is going down, but it's going down really slowly. And that's okay. Alright, sorry, I didn't right click. I meant to right click. Alright, have we finished up the, uh... I guess, I guess we did, maybe? I'm gonna take half of this back. Acknowledged. And we're just gonna try to finish this thing off real quick. In progress now. Please die. Alright, so we killed all that. We're gonna get all of our military ships. We're going back through, and now we're gonna start doing some damage. It's gonna look good on us, I think. It might just look like garbage, I don't know. Either way, I'm gonna do an attack move. I'm gonna hold X and then right click. And that's gonna send our peeps over here. Are they going to start blasting? I'm seeing weird things like flashing on the screen there. I don't know what that was all about, but that's okay. I'm going to put our uh, secondary group over here. And I feel like we're definitely going to be stronger than they are. Starships are significantly stronger. Uh, we're going to actually galaxy hop back over to our primary place. And from here we're going to go back to tech. And I think I'm going to upgrade these guys again. I mean, we don't have much tech left. We'll upgrade those guys, and we'll upgrade the Pike Corvettes. They seem like the coolest of our units. We're still getting a little bit of science, but it's not much. 
So, what's going on here? Group one, group one. Um, did I do something I didn't want to do? I feel like I did. Alright, so I'm, I'm just randomly hitting all the wrong buttons right now. Forgive me. We're gonna go here. Commence and maneuver. And we're should be getting a lot of reinforcements coming in now. I'm gonna Taking attack up over that position. way. On our way. And we're just gonna kind of annihilate all of these guys. Very well, sir. We can deal with the shields later if we have to. I'll see that it's done. I'm gonna say that we do this. I'm gonna say that we do this. And it should be fine. Uh, I think we're going to speed the game up a little bit here. We're at 10x speed right now. We pretty much annihilated everything that we had to annihilate. We're going to slow back down to normal speed. Roger that. There we go. Science exhausted. Our science is exhausted on our primary planet I'll there. The final thing should go down here any second, and there it is. I don't know if that's going to win it for us, or what the case is. I think we have to destroy these things now, too. Block solution immediately. Okay, I think we did it. I think we survived the tutorial, ladies and gentlemen. And that means in our next episode, we will hop in and we will start a game fresh, and I will make all the mistakes in the world, or universe, galaxy, what have you. And you can mock me for it, because that's what I do. Bad things. Anyway, folks, I hope you guys enjoyed. Again, it is going into Steam Early Access on October 15th, 2018. The game is called AI War 2. Sorry about that, folks. The wife called to always interrupt the last part of my, my videos, as she does. Anyhow, big shout-out and a thank you to Arkham Games for sending this my way. I definitely appreciate it. I love what you guys do. Keep making games. It's awesome. And if you guys want more information about the game, where to get the game, information on the developer, any of that wonderful fun stuff will all be down below in the description of the video as it always is in various links and things of that nature. If you did enjoy this video, go ahead and leave a like, give me a thumbs up, and of course subscribe to the channel for more content like this and tons of other stuff. Till the very next episode, guys and gals, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you for stopping by the Freak Show, and I will see you later. <laughs>